Hi, I'm Savannah Boone, and this is Terrence Davis, and we are here at Mark Stadium where the women of Troy will take on their crosstown rival, UCLA, this Saturday at noon. Terrence, I think this should be a good one. Exactly, Savannah. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned rivalry game? We are in for a real treat. Both of these teams are ranked in the top 25. The 22nd ranked Children's are coming off a dominant performance against San Diego State but they haven't played a match since February 1st. You know, that's a good point. The, their last match against top-ranked Florida State was canceled due to rain, so Russ could be a factor in this matchup. Not to mention UCLA has another match on Friday against Pepperdine, so their energy might be tested going into this game on Saturday. What kind of performance are you expecting from the Trojans this weekend? Savannah, I think the Trojans will need another strong team performance if they want to emerge victorious against the 20th-ranked Bruins. This is a good UCLA team, and they will be seeking revenge after losing to the Trojans the last time around. But if the women of Troy come ready to play like they did in their last match, UCLA is in deep trouble. I mean, I agree. The last time the Trojans took the courts, they turned into their arguably their best performance of the season so far. They swept the Aztecs 7-0, pushed their overall season to a record of 3-1. and one. Yes, USC's Rihanna Valdez capped off the afternoon with a 6-love, six 6-3 six victory over the Aztecs' Olivia Larson to clinch the, clinch the victory for the women of Troy. And yeah, that makes that Valdez a second clincher of the season, so UCLA will definitely have to keep an eye on her. And you can't forget about Gabby Smith right now, who's playing some excellent tennis. She's won 11 out of the 12 single matches and is currently riding a nine-game winning streak. Yes, Gabby is crushing it right now, but she's not the only one who's gotten off to a hot start. The Trojans also have seen strong performances from the doubles pairing of Zoe Katz and Madison Westby all season. They have yet to drop a match. On the other side of the net, UCLA's Ina Shabahara is having an outstanding season for the Lady Bruins. Shabahara has won her last four singles matches and holds a 24-3 record overall. Her doubles pairing with Jada Hart has also provided a tremendous boost for UCLA. They've won 11 of their 15 doubles matches. I mean, it's undeniable that they have so much talent on both sides of the net. It'll definitely be interesting to see how these matchups play out on Saturday. I can't wait. It's going to be a good one. Remember, you can catch this matchup on the Pac-12 Network live from Mark Stadium this Saturday at noon. Back to you guys in the studio.